have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness Deacon's pursuit and confession to Brooke could very well put her in danger. Everyone knows now that Sheila is very afraid of Brooke living with Deacon, because if that was the case, then she would have no place to continue hiding. Could Brooke's dangers come from Sheila? What would Deacon do to protect Brooke? Now Deacon is with daughter, Hope preparing a very romantic marriage. Daughter, in proposal, Hope preparing a very romantic marriage proposal for Brooke. This may be the time when Sheila steps in to harm Brooke. Would Deacon leave her alone when she broke up with the woman he loved? Sheila's appearance had always brought trouble and trouble for him. If she continued to cause trouble this time, it'd most likely make Deacon angry. What will a trickster like Sheila do next? Will her appearance this time make this police suspect her existence? Sheila must think very carefully before acting or her return to prison will not be long. With Hope's help, Deacon prepared everything. Just wait for Brooke to appear. The two will have a romantic evening and he will kneel down and propose to her. Will Brooke reciprocate this sentiment? Witnessing such a romantic proposal, Sheila was a little uncomfortable. She thought that without Brooke's presence, Sheila's life would continue to be peaceful and they didn't need to worry about being discovered by the police. From then on, she had even more reason to hate Brooke. Sheila had been looking for ways to harm Brooke these past few days. She's waiting for the right woman to strike. If Brooke had a problem, the proposal between the two would be postponed and she had more time to enjoy a life at Deacon's house. A risk taker like Sheila had never done anything that she wouldn't dare do. This proposal could very well put and have Brooke's life in jeopardy. If that happened, would Hope have peace of mind to let her mother return to Deacon? Last time she saw her mother was extremely depressed, so now she wants her mother to fall into that state again. The presence of Sheila made all of Deacon's plans impossible. Because he just got out of prison, he doesn't want to have anything to do with Sheila. She's currently the person the police want for prison break. If the police found out that she was hiding at his house, he would most likely be implicated. So what Deacon wants to do now is to get Sheila out as soon as possible. In the past time living together, it's not known if Sheila really has feelings for Deacon or not. But recently she has shown an attitude of wanting to possess him. Seeing Deacon pursue Brooke like that, she was really jealous. And so what do you do now is to find a way to please Deacon. Does she really love Deacon or is it just an excuse to keep living here? Because she wanted to please Deacon, she prepared a very romantic evening. And she thought her culinary talents would convince Deacon. But Deacon didn't pay attention to these actions of hers. His heart is now only for Brooke. Seeing Deacon on being gentle with Brooke, Sheila was annoyed and bitter at the thought of it.